poppies. I mean, oh, they're yeah. gonna have a real good chance. Uh, looks like Resist gonna have the uh, favored red side of the map uh, in that double pick advantage in the beginning. Bologna gonna get stuck. Wow, but what? Yeah. Hello? <laughs> what time is it? Uh, it's time for you're not wearing a watch. I'm not wearing a watch. You don't own that. Wasn't watches. yes, I do. No, I wear I wore it the other day. What kind of watch? So I could put you on blast. Uh, Kenneth Cole. Yeah, all right. Uh, Bologna, Athena get taken away. Sylvanas getting taken away as well. Bastet going to be right. stripped as well. And we're going to go to Cog here for first pick. So Cog's got the first pick. The two go-to uh, supports are down. And there's Sir Kent. Hey, we're Pretty back in standard. North America. Yeah. Basic back in North America, Bastet being banned out. Europe doesn't really value the cat as much as oh, North America. Although, my man, yes. my man Dalo is showing real strength with it. Option here to resist. They have two options. Uh, Isis going to be picked strength. up again back in North America. Uh, and one more pick here. I was going to say, probably the Guardian Geb. Okay. I like the Geb. I've always liked the Geb pick. Uh, you'd look at characters like Sylvanas and Athena. They're more offensive. Geb right. is more of a reactive. Shield type. is OP, man. That's, yeah. I, I was going to give a deep and out. That's all I meant. It's, just, it's what it comes down to. <laughs> Shields OP. Yeah, it's like shield. top five moves in the game. It strips CC and gives them health. Like, what else could you want, right? So, I mean, right away at the top for Resist Gaming, you can oh. tell they're play they're trying to play the safe game. They've got an Isis ultimate. They've got the Geb shields. Uh, they're looking more for defense coming out of the gate. Bakasur and Shibalaki on the other side with that Sirket. That is a straight-up offensive. <laughs> yeah, for real. Just damage. Watch out. I mean... <laughs> What do you do here, right? I mean, it comes down to clear. You yeah. have to out-clear Bakasura. Um, there's a few options. Mm -hmm. In this matchup, with the way that Heartseeker is, I would love to see Nasha Me? in the solo lane. Me too, Brandon. I I've been preaching Nasha on the solo lane for a long time. Do that Heartseeker uh, rush now? Yep. Woo. Finally, uh, who? who I, I believe it was Cyclone Spin and, uh, and Maniac both took Nasha on the solo lane. No, no, Twi Twig played him in the jungle. There you go. Twig played in the uh, jungle. In, in the solo lane, we saw Maniac played in the SPL. I love the choice of Naja. Same same tower pressure potential yep. as Bakasura. Kill potential on mages. A lot of stuff there. We are going to see the Thor pick round out. The Heart Heartseeker, though. For any god. If you go Heartseeker 2, Potion, Potion, or Potion Ward, two waves. Yeah. Two waves and your Heartseeker's done. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, boy. And I've been preaching Heartseeker since it was 1950 or 1900. 1950. 1950. Doom Ward's the same item. I mean, it's just, so, it's just such a powerful, powerful item. We'll see what will come out on Medusa. what character that time around. Medusa being banned out. Uh, that is a homework ban right there. Uh, realistically, it should have been first pick, first ban. She's incredibly strong. Even after the even after the nerfs, Brandon. Oh, man. Acid Spray is just the worst move to deal with. I mean, there's no dodging it. If you stand near your yeah. creeps, you will take damage. The ability to poke and clear at the same time is... What makes it scary? The numbers or whatever, it's the fact that it does two jobs in one. Oh, all right. Cupid coming out for the counter pick to Shibalanke. Now, remember, if Shibalanke makes it to endgame right. with an even level or I would say one to two levels ahead, it's going to belong to him. But Cupid's job is to shut him down. Shibalanke is going to have to go into a very early sprint, too. Janice going to be locked in for the mid lane. Heroin loving this god, and then we're going to see Guan Yu right. on support. I like that a lot, Brandon, because as we said with Cognitive Gaming, the first three picks, Sir Kent, Aucha Sora, Aucha Lanky, all they have is a lot of damage. Giannis can go either direction, right. damage or utility, and Guan Yu is going to be, I'm going to heal you, I'm going to initiate for you, I'll do everything so you guys can just left-click, and I guess you can press one, Sir Kent. Like, that's the whole gimmick <laughs> that this team has, and you look at the top side on red, all I see is help. You've got Isis, Ultimate, and Silence, and Spirit Balls. You've got Shields. You've got Walls. You've got Push Them Out of the Way with Tear. Resist Gaming knows that, the underdog he that they're the underdog in this fight, and they want to play a little bit more careful than the all-in strategy of Cog. So with this, Tear is going to be locked in as the final point here. With that, Cognitive's looking at Magi's Blessing. Oh, right? yeah. Like, that's what yeah. you want. When you see a Tear, uh, it's the same thing when you see a Naja that we saw from Captain Twig. The other team just auto-buys five Magis if they can. But they have Isis. <laughs> Isis, one of the best characters in the game for taking away Magis. Thor as well. Very true. Silences, Spirit Balls, Tectonic Rifts. Going to be very strong at taking them away. And if they can from ranged, wait on the initiation and get the tier blink to the back line. This could work out very, very well for Resist. Both teams have very curious comps. Again, uh, touching on the fact that you said a little bit defensive coming out from Resist. A lot of sustainability with Tear Heal, Isis Heal, Cupid Heal. A lot of CC with uh, Thor, with Tear. And then, of course, Isis. And across the way, it's a little bit less than the CC, although there's a decent amount. And it's just like, dude, look how hard <laughs> we hit. Yeah. 
It's all about the damage on the side of the blue team and all about the offense or, or defense on the side of the red team. We're getting underway and we're going to take a look at these teams. Blue, left-hand side, your SPL team defending their spot. Cognitive Gaming, while on the right-hand side in the red on the dark side of the map, will be resist. And they will try to take down the SPL team to make their spot this time around and leave the Challenger Cup in the dust. 7,500 gold apiece. Game not started quite yet as we're going to see them all playing very, very safely. Will we see Thor decide to go in? They have a very deep ward, but the ward is misplaced. That ward on the bottom side of your screen on the right side, if that was a little bit farther down, right. uh, kind of below the speed line, mm -hmm. it would have ensured that they would have been spotted. In this case, the ward should spot them if they rotate. Homie FA going to walk into it, but it's not going to actually see them do the speed buff, which means they also won't gain the timer. But I'm pretty sure it's just going to be... I don't know, four minutes and 15 yeah. seconds. Wow, I mean, 15 this seconds. Is, this is the one camp, Brandon, where I personally feel like it's not that important to really have the timer because you're going to know when they take it down. So, Meerkat has opted into Hand of the Gods. Now, every top-level Bakasura, talking about Cyclone Spin and the boys, have opted away from this build. They usually choose to go into, uh, you know, the Death Toll, which we see, plus Short Bow. I think that right there, Brandon, is really a, a, the difference between the top level and the mid level that we see right here with Meerkat. Uh, the top level players have, uh, we've, re we've referred to it as the Zapman aura. You respect them, so you don't want to get too much in their grill. You don't want to go up against Cyclone Spin at level one, so he has the luxury of not getting that hog. Uh, That's Meerkat true. is sort of forced into it because. There is no real, uh-oh, he's the best player in the world, respect level. I'm actually pretty surprised that we didn't see an invade come out from Thor tier. Right? Yeah. If they hit a Fearless and a Berserker <laughs> Barrage, what is Bakasura doing about that? Yeah, I mean, it's a varsity football squad picking on the history class. It really is exactly what you want to invade. Uh, the only thing I can see more is maybe a Thanatos. Well... Cog's going to have a strong start here. Early rotation coming out from Homie F.A. Going to put him a little bit farther ahead than the Thor. Plus, they were able to steal a back camp away. Now, mm -hmm. uh, Herwin can't get back into lane safely. Homie F.A., though, doing a lot of damage. Huge amount of damage. Wow. That may be a drop, but Herwin recognizes his mistake. He's looking for the unstable Vortex to the back. Shotgun. First blood. Cognitive Gaming going to pick that one up very, very strong. And, you know, going back for those back camps, that's really what we uh -oh. see. Good stun. No follow-up. Nah, he didn't have it. Yeah. In fact, they're going to try to follow- Oh uh, my god! Take one, take two. Cognitive Gaming leads the win with two kills before the second minute of this contest. Uh, they want to save their spot, Brandon. And with that, the <laughs> chat and every single person who was involved in the first set of the day goes, Oh, right, Sir Ket. Yeah. Forgot. <laughs> Sir Ket my scorpion so much tie. more damage. Ooh. I mean, Deathbringer isn't even online. That yeah, nothing's online. He doesn't have any damage. <laughs> they're already a thousand gold ahead. But even if even if they take this game right. in the same route they're going, this is how bad the poppies were. Oh 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 oh! Words as weapons. Uh, fearless Remember, in the wrong direction there. Remember the uh, the, the nerf. Tabakasura. <laughs> it's doing less damage. It's coming. <laughs> it's not coming soon enough for Resist Gaming. They suffer their third death. We're going to take a look at the dual lane, uh, which is the only lane that hasn't seen a death yet. Mid lane, See, jungle, I, and solo have suffered. I'm going to turn that from fact to opinion here because this to me is a death. Yeah. If, if Cupid is getting pushed back by Shibalanke, something has died. Right? <laughs> and that comes down to the smart choice of Guan Yu into Geb. Guan Yu is going to make up for the fact that Shibalanke's push sucks, right? Yeah. I mean, that's, let's, not be, let's not beat around the bush. It's the reason he wasn't played in Season 1 at all. Exactly. Uh, you know, just to, just to reiterate, Season 1, uh, a lot of clear was heavy on the Hunters, and they had a blue buff so he could spam those, spam those abilities a little bit more. We took it away and give them a basic attack buff. Now you see strong basic attackers like Cupid, like Rom, like Shibalanki really come from out of the uh, out of the out of the depths of despair and that's why Shibalanki is just so strong right now. Homie Effie waiting for who that. I don't think Thor sees him. I Now he does. Don't think he has a line to Oh, that spirit ball. Oh, chaos. Yeah, interesting first pick Isis. I, I don't really think uh, Isis is a first pick character. He, she just doesn't really bring that first pick potential to the table unless you are extremely dominant. Like so Kiki. When, exactly, like Kiki or, or Mace of the Face. Meerkat getting pushed around not too much. Um, so when I saw that Isis pick, I was ready to see fireworks. I'm right. not seeing that. What I saw was a spirit ball detonated like four Thor <laughs> lengths away from the circuit. I mean, there was no reason to even throw it. It was panic, and it, it seems to me that already Resist Gaming is 
kind of in their own heads. This is game one. The challengers are going up against SPL level teams, so there is an implied skill differential here, uh, which can get into your head. We saw the Poppies perform extremely well game two and three, but game one, they handed it to Dignitas on a silver platter. Could just be nerves. Up Watch out. Air. Thor's in the air looking for something a little bit more than nerves. He wants a kill. This is like a random 4v4 that's happening here. Herwin uh, gonna get stunned yes, out. Hudat jumping into the wall, not committing to the fight. Chaos not gonna be able to heal up. That's a lot of damage coming out from Meerkat. Uh, but realistically, that was 100% Sir Cat. I mean, she stopped the healing. Oh, look how low he is. Don't, uh -oh. no, 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 no. You can't be doing all that kind of stuff. I, I love Jigs the oh, entire the, fight. The Gap Shield. Actually kept him alive. Yep, yeah, that's what we were talking about during the pick and ban phase. Hudat still in a little bit of trouble. Uses the tectonic rift as a wall instead of a stun. I don't hate it. That fight, all jigs. You were looking at Sirket, jigs. Everybody forgets how much damage the ultimate coming out. It's the most damage. Yeah, the ultimate coming out from Guan Yu is. It's, it's literally the most, it's the highest uh, physical damage attack in the game. It scales more with each consecutive hit right. you hit. Jigs hit multiple players three times in a row and then got the stun. He took out a player all by himself and then as soon as Tear came into the picture, popped the popped the Tallow Assault so he could not get pushed back. Great understanding of the mechanics. Coming Let's out take a look at the damage charts. I that, think that'll tell us exactly what we need to do. Oh, whoa. Did not expect that. Whoa. I mean, it's Bakasura. Bakasura. <laughs> right, but it's against Tear. Oh, jeez. Sure. Sure. Valentine. That was 50% of Geb's health. He's level 6 right now. He's really not that far behind. I mean... Heroin was only level 7, but oh, look, it's just Doom Orb. Mm. <laughs> Doom Orb, so, so popular since the recent change. Uh, we keep talking about the, the Heart Seeker change. Well, Doom Orb got the same change a little bit earlier. Homafei wanting a little bit of damage on his end. He'll be a little defensive using the Deathbane to get out of dodge. And him and his two friends will walk their way into the jungle. They don't see that ward. Mid camps coming out. Mid camps. Uh, left side, easy, going to COG. Right side, uh, going to red, it seems, but they could put themselves in a bad spot as you see Meerkat rotating over. Meerkat, very, very... No. <laughs> I was no, going to yeah. say very confident going up against three players. Uh, going to pull back just a little bit. They've got some buffs on the map that they want to get, so uh, we'll, pick, we'll clean out the jungle and we'll see where COG looks in just a little bit. With that, another speed buff going to be picked up and almost exactly on time uh, considering that they took the top side. You see it's in, within that 30 second window. So that's going to give him almost 100% uptime on the speed buff throughout the second advantage. And with that, as Sir Ket already a level ahead, right. and with, I mean, the goal difference isn't that big, but it's going to be because Gold Fury is going to be started up soon and they don't have the team to allow them to get in against this damage. The tankiness isn't high enough. Gold difference is also extremely relative, Brandon, as I'm sure you know. 1,700 gold, not a big difference. At seven minutes in, that's a pretty big difference. Jump in, they're about to make it even larger. Meerkat with the solo kill in the solo lane. The kills are now five to one, and two of them belong to Meerkat. Why did Meerkat not rotate? I thought they were going to go for the Gold Fury. He's actually going to stick around. He's going to get the tower. I mean, he, he maybe, but I mean, that was a free Gold Fury. Mm-hmm. Definitely was. We'll see J Jigs on the backside. Will he go for the... In nope. No big ultimate coming out. I thought he was going to look for the hot initiate, but with the Cupid with the Cupid dash and the Geb shield, got to be a little bit careful. I thought Hootout was going to the sky there. I, I <laughs> didn't know... I don't know why he didn't go for it, but he's going to be walking over wards repeatedly. Meerkat is, in fact, going to take this tower. There it is. That's going to hurt a lot. That's another 500 yep. gold. I mean, these little wins are starting to add up big time. Miss Spirit Ball is going to drop the kill. Unfortunately, Homie Effie is going to stick around, though. Not enough. Don't forget that Geb passive is going to limit the amount of damage that the crits can do. That said, crit isn't online for the Circuit just yet. So once the Deathbringer does come online for the Circuit, the damage will be lackluster against Geb. Now, remember, Cog has had a, a lot of decent practice in, in this in this downtime, right? right. They have been scrimming almost 100% against TSM. Really? Yeah, I mean, TSM, when they came here, actually wouldn't scrim anyone besides COG. They couldn't scrim Cloud9, which is their that. normal, because Jeff was here. They didn't scrim AFK, which wound up hurting them a lot. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe COG will get some advantage here. Watch this. They see it. They're, they're all yeah, standing on wards. wards. There's wards right here, right here, right here. Great blink in from Ballantyne. Gonna oh, hit nobody with the, with the secondary shock wave. And down comes Hudat looking for more. Two are stunned. They're fighting on the Isis ultimate. But smartly, 
Cognitive disengaged. Uh -oh. Look at this Irwin. Oh, I thought he was going to get that. He's in a little bit of trouble here. That's He's into the kill. tower. That's a kill. That's a great shove coming out from the solo laner for oh. Resist Gaming. They're not done yet. Two and two under the tower. There's the late Cupid ult, which is Got exactly him. where you want. And the swag flip claims a kill for Tier. But it's a big win there once again for Cog because Shibalanke got one of those kills. <laughs> That's permanent damage yeah. added into that passive, and they're not taking down the problem. They're not shutting down Sir Ket. Yeah, it's, it's a two for two fight, but unfortunately on the way of Cognitive Gaming because of that Shibalanke passive, as you said. And one more time, Famous Hate is going to go on the offensive and take Chaos out despite the fact that he's 1v2. I didn't see that happening. I did not see him winning that engagement, nope. but that's a 50-stack Heartseeker in Ninja Tabby. He, he wasn't even <laughs> threatened. Next up, going to be Lifesteal most likely. Dev's Glove's still an option. It's really early. I would yeah. love to see the Dev's Gloves over the Aussie. The Dev's Gloves over the Aussie? Interesting. Uh, you lose a little bit of the penetration and the attack speed by going Dev Gloves, but you gain a lot more power and more passive life steal. So it's an interesting build. I don't hate it, Brandon. It winds up making you hit even harder, which is Shibalaki's claim to fame. But he's not doing it. He's going into the Aussie. The Light Blade has been started. Once that's finished, we're probably going to see them make the real attempt at the Gold Fury. Yeah. For right now, it's just posturing. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the bigger, bigger things that uh, the de early Devo Gloves do versus the Heart Seeker. You hit, you hit less hard, but... You can oh solo tank that. Uh oh. Jinx. oh, oh, oh. Beautiful wall. Who that? That's him. <laughs> right there. Jigs uh, just starting the horse in the wrong direction. Yeah. Forces himself to turn around. They still sell ben, uh, Valentine out of there. I don't. This I is don't, curious. This is not. This actually should belong to Red. It's going to come down to what, her, what Homie FA can do right here. He's going to spot three on the rotation. They reset it. They're trying to bait this out. Ambush is in, and he's stunned. Uh-oh, there's the push coming Ooh. out from Words as Weapons. Homie Effie very low. Three-man Cataclysm going the way of Valentine. Homie Effie gets the ultimate off. Will he escape? Jigs will make sure the tank doesn't. They want to follow up. Under the tower is Words as Weapons. So is Jigs. Beautiful spirit ball through him. the wall. Hudat gets the kill, but Famous Hate makes him pay. Homie Efe almost died there. That creep actually wound up blocking. Nice shot over the wall from the unstable Vortex. Erwin maybe having the kill. No, not going to be enough damage, but still a uh, big win for them. They're going to lose Jigs, but they're going to pick up two and send the rest back to the base here. Uh, everybody seems to be in trouble except for Famous Hate. Famous Hate has just been doing everything that he's supposed to and then some. You know, Brandon, I... I'm not exactly disliking what I'm seeing out of Resist. They're, they're doing what they're supposed to. It's just that Cognitive seems to be taking bigger bites out of these fights. I mean, Kog is consistently scrimming with the third best team in the world as per the World Championships compared to Resist, who fought through Challengers Cup. Like, it's a big difference. Gold Fury attempt. Great tier push is going to push Famous Hate out of the way. Resist does get the Gold Fury. They've got to shut Famous Hate down right here. He does have that heart no, seeker, get out of so there. he'll lose the stacks, but smartly they're going to retreat. Look at this. Words' his weapon in some trouble. Ouch. Over the wall. And that's going to be it. They'll steal a buff. Honestly, again, I don't think that was too bad for Cog. They're going to lose a gold fury. <laughs> and of course, on paper, that seems like it sucks. But they're giving kills they're to Shibalake. The they can't be get Like, he's three levels ahead of anyone except for Tier right now. And he has, what, three kills now? Yeah. 15 extra damage? And we've seen a lot of this, Brandon. But I think that play that just happened is really the difference between an SPL team and a Challenger Cup team. Finding the small windows of opportunity and going for it. Yeah, they took the, the Gold Fury. They push him out, and as soon as they turn around, they hit a middle tower, and they take it. That's two Tier 2s on the side of Cognitive Gaming, and that's exactly what they need to look for. And with that, Shibalanke picks up the Aussie. Now, this is going to be a 15% increase in attack speed. It's going to give him 15% lifesteal plus the passive and 15 pen. That's it. There's no more pen boots. Right. That's, that is why that uh, item is so successful. Now, it, it's interesting because it sits in the attack speed spot. We usually get boots. We get we, we get a power bank well, out of Heartseeker or Dove's Gloves. Boots and then Ikaval or the attack speed item. It's Aussie this time around, which also gives you penetration. So it's sort of oh, bonus. Oh, Meerkat. Uh, Jigs as well trying to do some damage. Words' his weapon wow. going to be cleaned up by Harwin. He actually gets a decent amount of healing off, but still gets cleaned up immediately. 12 to 4 right now, even with the Gold Fury in their favor. Uh, resist down about 3,000 gold. You know, Harwin is sort of, I, I, I mean, one of, the, one of the bigger overused platitudes, not just here, but in all broadcasting booths, is emotional player. Right. Harwin is the embodiment of Heartseeker. The harder he wins, the better he'll do in the future. Resist has to be very careful about this mid lane in game two. 
<laughs> and not to mention it's Janus, right? Like Janus yeah. does so much damage. He rotates his team around. He's incredibly defensive. Like this character has very few flaws. I mean, his flaws come down to, uh oh, I might portal someone when he my rest <laughs> of my team's gonna do damage, right? That's his flaw. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 uh it's tough to really make the big mistakes with, with Giannis. When he comes out, you could go so many different directions, whether it's burst damage or utility. This time around, we'll see burst with that Doom Ward. 50 stacks on it, and Cognitive Gaming just sieging this right-hand tower. Who that's going to go up in the air and try to help out, but it'll be far too late. No, this is the stun. No. Dashed out is Homie Effie. Up on the horse is Jigs. Looking for the initiation. It's going to hit no one. Who that smartly gets out of there, but Chaos all alone. Chaos no is your healing. name, but Chaos not quite your game. Herwin takes that kill. With that, Words' weapons just barely escaped from the spread of the poison. They're Ouch. trying for it. Ballantyne taking a ton of damage. They're trying to get away here. Beautiful Herwin. Play. Yeah, Beautiful beads. play. Uses the beads. It's been reduced from five to three seconds, but three is all he needed to get that unstable vortex back online. Take the life away from the support. That'll make the siege so much easier. But with Jigs backing, the team will look again to a tier two in the middle lane. Only two towers remain. Famous can clean this up by himself. Cognitive Gaming now leads the game by 7,100 gold at just 15 minutes into this contest. It would be probably 10,000 if it wasn't for the Gold Fury yep. from Resist, but yep. even without it, I mean, 7,300 at this stage in the game. We're only 15 minutes in. They have a 13,000 lead in experience. Fear no, four levels down. Ballantine, three levels down. Chaos, three. Who that? Strangely, even. And then words down, too. So, I mean, Resist, not in a great spot here. Resist definitely an uphill battle from the get-go. I mean, one of the interesting notes about this team is that they really weren't supposed to be here. Team Nomad was supposed to be there. Right. Here. Nomad had more points than Resist Gaming despite playing three less weeks than this team. But they didn't submit their roster. Well, they, they don't have a roster. That's Jeremy fair. moved on to enemy esports, so the team has been defunct. So Resist Gaming has three extra weeks of play and just still has less Challenger Cup points than Nomad. So that's really, you know, it, it's a different league. Pretty much. It's a different level of skill. So everything I'm seeing here from Resist is positive. They're really not supposed to win anything. And the fact that they're getting off of the Gold Furies and finding the small opportunities, I like to see that more than I don't. So the big issue here is that Isis, uh, a character who is incredible when she's even or ahead, right. is four levels behind. Zero five right now. And her damage is boots and spear. It's not going to be enough. I mean, and very smartly, Homie F.A., every time she tries to ult, he ults her right back, saying, you can stand in this all you want. You're not getting any health back. <laughs> very, very smart play coming out from Homie F.A., uh, the new jungler for Cognitive Gaming, taking over the spot of Mask, who actually recently got a one-year ban, so him and the team actually changed positions. Meerkat, no more bubble. I uh, thought he was going to jump. Yeah. Not sure why he didn't. Gold Fury, good to be coming back up here. Uh, is available. I assume that Cog's going to maybe not try to get the Gold Fury so much as just bait the fight out. Right. That's what they want here. I, I would say the Gold Fury is theirs if they want, but uh, really what they want more, Brandon, is to put people back into the fountain so they could take these two towers on they the got left hand it. side. They got it without even a shred of defense. Right. Wow. Ambush was heard somewhere. They're just in the middle lane. Uh, four members deep is Cognitive Gaming cleaning up the wave, and they're going to head into the jungle they're looking at the isis i don't know if they'll be able to catch up to her just yet resist smartly splits up like that play and jigs I gave mean, him a little clap yeah we you know what, what happened though? last time yeah <laughs> we, we, the last time we saw those taunts coming out it it, it uh, forced out the dc win right i mean that's what <laughs> yeah. was necessary pretty much that famous hate. Do you see how hard he's chunking? He's Shibalanke. He's the hardest hitting character in the game. <laughs> what 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 is Lassus? Lassus had very like long and draw almost drawn out deep analysis about hunters. What was that? Uh, OP. Oh, hunters are hard. <laughs> right. Very difficult class. Level 19 now. Five levels ahead. Uh, let's take a look at the golden hand, if we don't mind. Here we'll see how far ahead Shibalanke is. Wow. Deathbringer's done, boyo. Well, the golden hand is. He's all the way on the bottom. Because uh, he, he doesn't take the Deathbringer, though. He takes the Rage and finishes up Sprint, which is probably the better that's idea. The, that's I, I believe that's the better play. So uh, mathematically, this is one of the more famous math equations in Smite. Mathematically, Rage is better uh, damn it, DPS, but first. But Deathbringer first will give you more impactful crits. Right. With that said... Finishing up the sprint is really where I'm looking at yeah. here. The rage is similar to the Deathbringer DPS, but you'll be able to chase them down. What's Ares ult called? 
Never heard of it. No Escape. Oh, that was it. You guys spent like 20 minutes making a joke about No Escape. I don't escape. remember that. No, no, No Escape? No, no I don't, I don't no, remember. No, so, uh, no, speaking no. of No Escapes, though, uh, there is about to be none here. As uh, Famous Hate going to be taking this almost by himself. Jigs is there. Talo Assault going to make this even easier. Look at, you see that spike in damage that just happened? That's an incredible amount of damage. And it's it's just Sir Ket. Homie Effie is by his lonesome zoning. There really wasn't much to zone as Resist Gaming playing it safe in the middle lane. But playing it safe for now but playing it dangerous for the future as Cognitive Gaming now has the Fire Giant belt around their waists. They have 14 kills to resist Gaming's four, and Herwind, no fear. This is the amount of lead that Cog has. Just this go is into less the about fear, and this rest. is just him not caring anymore. Yeah, exactly. This is just blatant, blatant disrespect. <laughs> I mean, he is separated from his team yep. against Ford. He's just like, I'll sit here. I think I can take him. Well, as we said, he is Giannis. That's some Sasuke nonsense, trying to fight four people by himself. Is that a type of sausage? Yes. He plays uh, for upcoming stars, right? Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Yes. Herwind does have the ultimate online. I love that portal, by the way. all his teams are here. Why? That, that portal put him directly in front of the Kreebs. If he walked into the lane, each archer would have stopped. Uh -huh. And then he had to catch up to the melees and drag them all back. It never would have cleared it. He put himself directly in front of the front creep and just burned the whole wave down. That, you know what? I love it now. Oh, min -max. I love it too now. Just min-max. Just all the time. It's all the time. You're, you're, you're somebody that like min-maxes their lunch, so I definitely understand that much. Dude, for real. You yep. can't, I mean, why waste time? There's no There's no need for it. The ratio of spread to bread is important when I make a sandwich. Cognitive How are you even joking about that? I'm actually really not. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, it's really you. important. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to be getting in here. The Phoenix is in trouble. Jigs, uh, Talibal Salt's down. Famous hate going like right that. in. I like that. He goes right in. No fear. That sets the pace of the fight. And here it comes. Spirit Ball is already down. It's fear no. He went on into fear no. Fear no. There Evil. it is. Bats is not here. <laughs> bats is not in the game, but Cognitive certainly is. There's an initiation for both supports. They're going to get put their foot on the gas pedal. I love it. Famous Hate looking at no one but the Firebird. He's going to get aggressive. The rest of the team will do the damage against the players. Left hand Phoenix is down, and it looks like that's all they need, Brandon. That, you know, that was the right call, too. He doesn't try to help the team exactly. put everyone down. He's just take the Phoenix. Don't extend the fight for longer nope. than it needs to be. It's here. Desperately trying to get behind them for the fearless, but that threshold Ouch. is too much. He is not committing to a fight he can win, let me tell you. He's just trying to control the team right there. Pushes two at once. That's going to be a good look for resist, Got but the him. kill is better for Herwin. Got him. And with that kill, Cognitive Gaming will turn their faces to their fates. And the Titan will eventually fall as long as Resist doesn't make a huge play. It really, Fear No by himself doesn't have it. And with the damage that Famous Hate was putting in, I mean... Uh, we're not doing the MVP thing this week, but right. that one goes to famous, <laughs> right? I mean, like, how much damage was that guy doing throughout the game? Jesus. I mean, famous.